Right, Teleode champs, and what we have here is potentially the best Windows Creator laptop, and actually, can it compare to the MacBook Pro 16? We're going to find out. This laptop here is MSI's 12th gen Intel CPU Creator Z16P. So it is indeed a 16 inch laptop. You will be comparing this with the XPS 17, the MacBook Pro 16, which I have on the left there, which I will be comparing it to in future videos. Now I do believe on paper, at least, well, this MSI laptop has the potential to be the best creator laptop, certainly in the Windows world. Now this laptop here comes with the latest Intel CPU, so 12900H, i9 up to that. You can also have an RTX 3080 Ti, Wolf. So this thing is serious. 240 watt power brick. Just that alone puts this above the XPS 17 when you consider that that only has a 130 watt power brick. We'll see the power of this in a sec. Of course, being an Intel platform, it does come with Thunderbolt. So I will be testing this Orica Thunderbolt 3 dock on this. Uh, stay tuned for my review on this. Also being a creator laptop, we have full size SD card slot. This has Wi-Fi 6E. This Mac don't have Wi-Fi 6E. And another thing, touch display right not only that not only that you get a pen a pen now the old mac here on the left no touch display now apple apple i got something to say here all right you don't have the wi-fi 6e that this laptop has well you know whatever but maybe a creator might want a touch display and a pen maybe i don't know apple mate i think that might be true now this display is actually really good okay and it's the first time i've seen this in a glossy display because this display is on a lot of laptops and it's one of my favorites because it is 165 hertz compared to 120 hertz on the mac i don't know how this is specifically tuned yet i will get the calibrator out on it but basically they're usually around 500 nits of brightness 1600p 16 by 10 display so these displays are amazing in. they are in the sweet spot of having the right amount of refresh rate resolution being 1600p and yeah color gamut is 100 p3 too that's what you want as a creator two m.2 slots inside we have two slots for ddr5 and of course it does have ddr5 and it is a 90 watt rtx 3070 ti in this particular model now let's see how much power it has all right we're going to see its power output this is the power from the wall here you might not be able to see that i will read it out anyway i'm going to put it in its performance mode high performance mode and you do have this msi center which is really good because you can control the fan speed i'm going to put it on cooler boost straight away you can hear that the fans kick on i think you can see there 60 decibels like that okay now i don't have to have it in this mode but this will be the best performance mode if i just turn it to auto you'll see that here that the fans turn off there you go yeah so the decibels have gone right down now so i'll just put it in its cooler boost and let's see how much power this thing has now i can tell you now this thing can boogie this is the 12700 h so it's not the i9 version and i've got nearly 19,000 cinebench score so 18,800. well that's just amazing for a thin and light thing because i think it's only like two just over two kilos so tiny bit heavier than the macbook pro definitely not as heavy as the xps 17 and that was maintaining 115 watts the whole time let's see its total package now all right all right all right so let's see we're getting a full 90 watts what we can see here so this is cpu temperature this is cpu power gpu temperature and gpu power we're getting 90 watts on the gpu hitting that gpu 100 percent now let's hit the cpu at the same time and see how many watts we get all right so what are we getting here the gpu has dropped down a little bit to about no it's still doing 80 watts on the gpu no it's gone back up to 90 it's gone back up to 90 watts and we're doing around 28 watts on the cpu actually 30 watts 29 so i'm expecting that this is 90 watts on the cpu i'm sorry gpu 90 watts on the gpu 30 watts on the cpu for a thin and light package that is amazing i'll tell you how amazing that is in a sec we'll just let it run its course here look at that the cpu is only 53 degrees of course it's only 30 watts into it but still 55 degrees 53 degrees on the um, gpu this is amazing when you consider that 90 watts so 120 watts is going into this system now 
and it's 50 something degrees what are you joking like when it had 115 watts on the cpu it got up into the 90s that was cpu only this is just crazy that's actually quite good that's really good performance here so i'll just turn cooler boost off so you can hear if you could hear the fans the fans were 60 decibels then all right so now let me put that into perspective all right xps 17 it will struggle to get 80 watts total package cpu and gpu this one here 120 watts you saw it it was 30 watts on the cpu and we're doing 90 watts on the gpu the macbook pro is actually really good the macbook pro 16 can do about 95 watts cpu and gpu together that's really good for that but this 120 watts okay so much more power than xps 17 like i don't even have to compare it when you're getting 120 watts versus maybe 80 watts on the xps 17 this is just going to destroy it and the fact that you can get an rtx 3080 ti i mean man this thing is an absolute beast in the windows world when you you know consider this is thin and light premium you know content creator device and yes you can use a gaming device for content creation so that's a whole nother ballpark of i mean they could probably do you know a good gaming 17 inch gaming laptop like you know the ge 76 radar could probably do as much watts as both of these computers put together right but that's a gaming laptop right in a thin and light premium package here 120 watts wolf that's what i'm talking about great display i already know this display is great because it's one of my favorite displays so you know we just got to check out the battery life 90 watt hour battery you know upgradable ah oh, man this thing is going to be hard to beat in the creator world for windows and we'll see how it goes against the mac um yeah catch you in the next one guys tally ho